if I don't get into a place where I can work for too long, I really start spinning down fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've kind of set up structures that um, pull the sort of the studio work into daily life in a way that um, keeps me connected. Um, and that started with the WD series 25 years ago, I guess, something like that, um, where, you know, I'd start, I start, still do, start each thing with writing the date down and shopping lists and everything, put it in my back pocket. And then this uh, note composition series, which I started about a year ago, um, has a similar aspect in that I start um, each month, I start like 60 new ones at home and they're sort of laying around um, gathering, you know, coffee spills and uh, notes and uh, kids drawing them sometimes and, uh, <laughs> you know yeah. <laughs> kind of like gather household uh you know mementos <laughs> also in the basement sometimes i'll take them and um like the latest new york times we get every sunday i'll like transfer some of that on to there and uh if my kids are using like uh watercolors or whatever i'll take the water and just sort of throw it on the pile in the basement yeah. so they're always kind of like something to go and look at and play with when I'm doing the laundry or whatever, sort of things like that to kind of, when I can't really be in the studio working, kind of make me feel connected to the bigger process. I've always been interested in sort of how smaller things can be part of a bigger thing and how you can separate one, bring it out of it, or, um, you know, almost like things are building blocks and then thinking of that, that it made sense more of like notes because they're kind of not, they don't have to be fixed in the way that like a building block does. Um, you know, I like the idea that like the piece behind you is to me right now, that's a composition, but like it can get taken apart and those pieces can be used in different ways. Like it's not, it doesn't, have to stay static like that. Um, so I'm very interested in that sort of idea too, things kind of interweaving and they can sort of be frozen in time like a photograph or a painting um, or they can go on to have a sort of different process of their own. And I can show you a little bit or like just some of the things that happen to them when they're in the studio. Like, um, like here's some larger paintings that I'm working on. And then below is just a, a bunch of them. <laughs> you know, almost the whole way along the edge of my painting walls. So yeah, I've always been interested in the, you know, sort of blurring the line between process and um, and you know artifact or finished product and um and that's you know again i, I really like about the these note pieces is that you know they're nine by 12 or 12 by nine they're small individually but yet i'm gathering hundreds of them and they can cover larger spaces and uh you know it was really exciting to do because this is the first time i've done done one um with you and it's you know I knew that in the process of just just installing it I would have more problems to solve and to come up with new ideas and like the idea that if someone were to buy the whole thing we could attach them onto panels so they're more more like a piece um like that's exciting for me to think about so yeah I feel like it's another like like the WD series which again I was like started 25 years ago sort of unknowingly this piece feels the same way like i don't know where it's gonna go but i know it's gonna keep happening i started getting involved with the music scene first like i would be in the audience drawing and i started 
uh, photographing a lot and um, got to know more musicians and became friends with them. And around the same time, I was selling my artwork on uh, in Soho and West Broadway and um, made a friend there who saw me doing it and was like, oh, wow, there's real art out here. Um, and he's like, do you mind if I join you sometime? Um, his name is Les Cypher, and we've been friends ever since. Um, and we, we started getting bored just being out there trying to sell stuff. So we decided to try collaborating and we'd bring in boards and we'd each sort of have a station we'd set up to paint. This is like on the streets in, in Soho. And, um, and we do this thing where we would like, like work on a board and then, you know, we, we taped pieces of paper on, we'd switch like, okay, I did something to all these and I would switch and we'd go back and forth. And so anyway, I had uh, musicians ask me if I would paint on stage with them when they perform. And I'd never done anything really on stage before or not much. So I was a little nervous. So I asked Les if he would wanna join me and do these things. So we started doing that and we did a lot of it actually, um, performing on stage. Um, and we kind of set it up like we did on the street where we would switch areas or switch, uh, boards or sometimes canvases um or sometimes we would like if the the music was like song or like pieces that were not that long we would switch at the end of each um piece of music um but anyway with that i got more you know working with him i got more comfortable sort of being on stage and being visible um, and it started feeling more natural and I could sort of lose myself in the music and not really think about the fact that there was an audience. Um, and, and as this continued, I kept getting asked to do more of this kind of thing and I started feeling comfortable doing it on my own. So I did one tour with, I think there was 12 musicians, a poet, three dancers, and we would do these performances where we would do like a, a four hour performance with different groupings. Um, but in this experience, I started realizing and some of the musicians started telling me that, you know, I was responding to what I was hearing and what they were playing in real time. They started watching what I was doing and responding in turn. So it sort of started having a more symbiotic relationship. and. You know, it was really powerful for me to feel like I was almost like a visual musician in a sense, that I was actually affecting the music instead of just responding to it. Yeah. Um, and so out of those experiences, I started having musicians ask me like, oh, I saw this one painting of yours. Do you mind if I record a piece using that as inspiration? I was like, yeah, of course, I'd be honored. And uh, I guess the primary thing I did with that in terms of a project was with um, Lauren Connors and his wife, Suzanne uh, Langill. She's a vocalist and he's a guitar player. And they took a bunch of my WD pieces and they were projected in the studio where they were recording. And so they actually did a, an album of songs that are pieces of music more than songs from their responses to the music. And so a CD package came out and had a little booklet of the drawings that they, that they responded to. And so that was kind of great. So it's, you know, I have a bit of a history of doing that. Um, not too long ago, a friend from New York, who's a composer and musician, you know, was asking visual artists for pieces that, th that he could sort of, you know, make a body of music using different artists work as composition. So I made a piece for him. So it's kind of in, in my head. And I often think about, you know, I'm always listening to music when I paint. You know, it's always feels like a sort of collaborative effort in a way of, of music and, and what I do. I look forward to getting to the point where the, you know, I can get musicians to travel to actually perform, perform these. Yeah, I think that would be really, really fun to have that collaboration. Yeah. Yeah.
and to hear just the way you know four different musicians would you know enter the piece in such different ways <laughs> There are notes in my mind, but they're not specific notes, like uh, notated notes, obviously. <laughs> you know, like some, some musicians might take one note and spend, or, you know, one piece and spend 10 minutes on that one piece. And some might play literally each piece as one note, you know, and it's like, there's no wrong way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 